Let's talk about what happens when you go home. We all only have so much time. Would you agree that, 24 hours a day? The one thing that we all have in common in this room is what? Regardless of how much money we have, what is it? Time. And we all have 24 hours a day. Okay? Well, let's take a look at what we can do with our time, well, how our time works. Seven hours is spent sleeping. One hour bathing, grooming, dressing, etc. Now, I say that this is your life. This is how much time you have in your life. This is the parameters of your life. Everybody see that? Okay? And we have two people here with equal lives because they have equal amount of time in their life. Would you agree with that? The thing that determines whether their identity becomes a reality is how they prioritize and how they use their time. Now, this is a little different than what you've seen in the past, so pay attention. Okay? Now, both of them have seven hours of sleeping, one hour of bathing, grooming, and dressing. And I represent that as the water, the fluid in our life. It's kind of mundane, automatic, subliminal, right? So we all spend eight hours a day in off time, leisure time, fun time, relaxation. Would you agree with that? Okay? And both of these guys have that. And that is represented by the sand in their life. Okay? And they both have equal amounts. Then, uh, we all have a job, right? How many people have a job? Eight hours a day, right? And it takes about an hour to drive back and forth to work. Would you agree with that? Okay, so we put nine hours a day into that J-O-B. Well, there's 24 hours. Now, let me ask you something. Where are you going to fit your dreams? Where are you going to fit Market America? Where are you going to fit the big things in life? Your life is already used up. Wouldn't you agree with that? And this is what happens to a lot of people. We see the big things in life are the rocks. And when you do the other things first, and you don't have dreams, and you don't make Market America first, then your dreams can never come true because there's no room for them. The reason Elizabeth Weber and Bruce Weber make over a million dollars a year, travel all over Europe, have a beautiful mansion, do the little things that they want, is because I remember they put the rocks in first and they put the other things in last. But you see, you all think that I manipulate that, that there's some magic or some trick to it, that when I fill up the jar, okay, there's not equal proportions. But now you can see that this person here that succeeded, that has a dream, and we're gonna call you Joe Schmo. I know you're gonna be successful, but for somebody who hasn't succeeded yet, why is one person's identity become a reality to become free and become a field vice president and another person doesn't have that lifestyle? They both wanted it, what happens? because we're all going to go, go home and be confronted with this on Monday morning. Well, here's what happens. There, one guy is going to put the rocks in first, and the other guy has put the water in. What he has to do in order to, whoops, in order to sleep, bathe, room, dress, the mundane things of life that we all do, it's already in there. So the next thing that we're going to put in is seven hours of eating, socializing, and leisure, our off time. So you want to put the sand in? Now Keith has put some big dreams in, like he goes hunting and fishing with his son in you know, Canada and, and uh, North Dakota. Uh, they have the house that they want, they travel, and they live a beautiful lifestyle. So the next thing that we're going to put in is our job in driving, okay, which are the little pebbles. Let's see how many we can fit in. Give it a little bang there. You know, they kick you around at work a little bit. There you go. That's, that's Kiefer beating on you. <laughs> now, it would appear that you can't fit any more in, but look how much he's fitting in. It was already filled up with dreams, wasn't it? It was already filled up with Market America. How is he going to fit anything else in? Okay. That's all we can fit? That's it. Now, look, isn't it interesting? When he filled, we filled it up with the water first, the mundane things in life, like sleeping and uh, showering or whatever. Then we filled it up with uh, uh, the entertainment and the leisure time. Okay, he could only even fit in so much work. Isn't that true? Okay, <laughs> and he's out of space. There's no room for any of his dreams. There's no room for Market America to take him to field vice president. Does everybody see that? Okay. Now look at Keith. 
His dreams are already in there. He's already filled the entire jar up with rocks. He didn't have any left over. Does everybody see that? Okay. Now, is there any time, you know, for leisure? And having fun and watching TV. Yes, you can cut bang it some. Take your time. You got all your dreams anyway, you got all day long. <laughs> You don't like watching TV anyway. <laughs> He's fishing on a beautiful lake in, in uh, Canada with his son, with that sunrise coming up, getting that big bass. That's what Keith likes to do. Give it a little bang there. Look, it's all going down. More time, even more time for leisure. Incredible. You didn't even get to the leisure. Incredible. Well now, is there any time for Keith to sleep? Is there any time for him to sleep? <laughs> yeah, let's see. The, 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 the mundane things in life, which are what? Sleeping, bathing, okay? This is the functional type of things. Well, let's see if he can fit any in. That pace, it'll keep going down. Incredible. Overslept that day. You need to take some Dream Z. So what's the point, folks? Can, you, can everybody see this, see what I mean? The beautiful thing is, there it is, all goes in. Well, thank you, thank you guys.